everyone, in this video I have a mixed media process to share with you with the Thompson's Craft Supplies design team using April's very beautiful Hello Spring kit. Now if you saw last week's process video, which I will link if you haven't, it was a very busy, bright, colourful, lots of stuff going on, really busy is kind of the word for it, and bright and just wow. And with this this week's project, I'm um, altering or decorating whatever these coasters that come in the kit. I'm doing four of them, by the way. It does come with six, but I wanted to see if I could do different things. I'm just doing four of them for now. And I'm going for a really, really different style with these ones. They are colourful, they are pretty, but it's more subtle, slightly more vintage floral. You'll see, obviously, as I make them, but it's kind of like I want to show you guys how with just this one kit you can create all different kinds of looks, like totally different aesthetics. It doesn't always have to be like the most obvious thing. So with all of that said, I'll talk about what I'm doing. So I've taken my four coasts and I covered them with a layer of just normal white gesso. And then, then when that was dry, I decided I wanted a slightly more white, <laughs> for want of a better word, base. So I'm taking some white acrylic. This is the titanium white from Windsor & Newton. And the reason I went with this, um, instead of just doing layer upon layer of gesso, is because as the name titanium white would imply, it's really, really white. And I knew I was going to colour these with Distress Oxide, and I just knew it would go better on that white acrylic. So Distress Oxide I'm using at the moment. I'm going to colour two of them with Antique Linen, and then I'm just using my blending tool and just, yeah, going in like that quite delicately. And then around the edges a little bit heavier just to add that nice sort of depth. The paint may not have been 100% dry as I was doing this. You see me a couple of times sort of stop and press my finger on it and go, whoops. Um, it was mostly dry on the top, just a little bit around the edges. I'd forgotten that I'd put paint around the edges, so whoops, but I couldn't be bothered to go back and dry it, really. And I wasn't going to put Distress Oxide around the edges. I'm going to do something else to those a little bit later on. So yeah, two coasters with the antique linen, and then two here with Victorian velvet, just to have them a bit different. Obviously, I don't need to dry that. And then I'm taking two Kayser Craft stamps. I do not know the name of them. One of them I bought from Thompson's Craft quite a long time ago. I really, really doubt if she's still got it. And the other one... That may have actually been from Thompson's as well. Anyways, if I can find links, I will I will get them for you. But I'm using the Stays On ink and just stamping those really pretty butterfly floral stamps straight down onto the coasters. Two with that sort of um, netting with the butterflies and then two that's more florally and has got a little bit of scripty writing. Um, and then I'm kind of doing a little bit of second generation and third generation stamping as well, just to have little bits and bobs all over the place. And then once that, the stays on did need a minute or two to dry. I didn't want to do anything straight away because, yeah, just with all going on all that stuff, I don't know. But just wanted to make sure I didn't smudge it because that would be just awful. I'm taking this rice paper that comes in the kit. This is from AB Studio and it's so so pretty. These florals, oh, I'm going to have to get myself some more of these. But I'm very loosely fussy cutting these, really not doing it delicately or cleverly at all, just really, really loosely doing it. Like, if you don't like fussy cutting, it wasn't really fussy cutting, if you get what I mean. And then I've, do I've done a lot so I can use them in future projects. I knew I wouldn't use all of them here, but then just playing around and figuring out where I'm going to put each one. So using some gloss gel medium, this is uh, the deco art stuff. I just, this came in a kit at some point last year and I'd totally forgotten about it. So I just needed using up. So I'm using that just to paint or paste those rice paper bits on, just in the same way as you would use Mod Podge or like watered down PVA glue, anything like that. You can use those too. It doesn't have to be the gloss gel. As I said, I'm just using it because I've got it and I need to use it up. And also it would add like a nice firmness to it, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, just painting those on. Just an FYI for newbies, by the way, if you are using a paintbrush with your gel medium, you wash that brush straight away really hot water, as hot as you can get it in your sink, and then lots and lots of soap, and yeah, just do it straight away, because if it dries, that's the end of that brush, really. It's it's not coming back after that. Um, there's the title of that rice paper sheet that says Amazing Flowers. I thought, well, I might as well use that. So I cut that up as well to put on one of them. And then I've got here these Dina Wakely collage words. Again, those were bought from Thompson's Craft Supplies. If she still has them in stock, I will link them. And I'm just cutting up a couple of little phrases to add on there as well. So I've got one that says, I've got one in front of me here. I've got appreciate everything, notice goodness, spend energy on what matters, 
refused to be ordinary, rise above, and here I've got, if you don't like where you're planted, uproot and move. And I really like that one because I don't know about you guys, but I am sick to death of the quote, bloom where you are planted. I've got nothing against the sentiment at all, like it's a, it's a nice sentiment, but I'm just sick of it because I see it everywhere. And this quote is like the exact opposite of that. So anyway, it's just a little side note there. I left those overnight to dry um, because they just dry better overnight, gloss gel does. And then when it was dry, you saw me that, I just snipped around the edges any bits coming off there. And here I'm just taking a couple of quite diddy little stencils and some Distress Oxide in worn lipstick and just sponging on just a few more little shapes and things onto the coasters just to add like more little areas of interest and stuff. So the green one is a Kayser Craft stencil with the butterflies and the clear one is a Tim Holtz stencil as well. Again, I will try to link them if I can can stencils for some reason are really hard to link after I buy them I don't I don't know why that is they just are but yes those have gone on there and then I'm gonna add some splatters onto here I'm adding um, splatters distress spray stain in picket fence that's gonna go on all of the coasters then I've got distress oxide spray in cracked pistachio that's going on the coasters the pink ones and then distress spray stain, blah, 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 lots of distress, basically. Distress spray stain in tarnished brass is going on the antique linen coloured ones. And I go back and forth with those adding splatters. These are really actually uncomplicated things I've done here. I didn't want to add loads of di dimension and stuff because I want to actually be able to use them as coasters. So rather than being a totally altered mixed media item that's just for display, I thought, let's make these so they can actually be used. So here I'm taking some Prima waxes. I'm just getting my little list here for names of things. These are the Art Alchemy waxes. Um, first, I'm taking aged brass to go around the sort of the antique linen coloured ones and just, yeah, going around all those edges and then coming in a little bit around the edges just to add, you know, that more, more dimension and stuff you can see kind of what I'm doing there but I'm making sure when I go into the top of the coaster rather than just around the edges I'm making sure there's not too much on my finger otherwise I'm just going to get a big ugly splodge of it and it needs to be sort of lighter and more distressed looking and then around the pink one sorry got interrupted around the pink one again it's Prima Art Alchemy wax and this is the mint sparkle and again I'm doing the exact same with that adding it around the edges and then just lightly adding it around the front edges that doesn't sound right, but that's kind of what they are. And then I am just taking some felt. This is from my bucket of material scraps. I thought pink and mint ones would go very nicely. I am not measuring these. I am just eyeballing it to make, for how big to make these. And then I'm just cutting squares that are smaller than the coasters themselves to stick onto the back of the coasters. So they're kind of like quote unquote real coasters you know they've got a little bit of felt underneath so they don't like move around and stuff but then I realized before I put those down um you're gonna get the piece of felt but then the chipboard around it that chipboardy color and that's just not gonna look very nice not that they're gonna be turned around much but just in case someone were to look at the bottom of them I decided to add some more of the wax just all around the edge there just so yeah you wouldn't see any of that chipboardy color because it's just not very nice to look at and it's kind of, it just looks very unfinished I think if you don't do something like that again not 100 percent totally necessary but i just like the whole finished look anyways i am whapping those bits of felt on with the prima 3d gloss gel why i brought out that and didn't finish my tube of the stuff i was using earlier i actually have no idea but but there, there we go that that is what I, what i did who knows why i do anything so yes just adding those on there and then again i'm going to take the oh no i'm going to do another one here i go adding the thing there now I'm done so my little my little tub 3d gloss gel has finally run out had it for about a year and four months something like that so yeah they last pretty good but as you see I have a nice enormous tub now I've had that ready for a while now for when this little one ran out and I just went around the edges there just to sort of seal them a little bit just to make sure the rice paper wasn't going to flip up and none of the wax was going to transfer onto your hands or anything. Yeah, just gently sealed it with the 3D gloss gel again. And that, I think, is it. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. Links, as always, will be in the description box. If you want to see the pictures close up or want a better look at them, there is always a corresponding blog post on the Thompson's Craft Supplies blog, which will be linked think there's some of these kits available still not 100% sure of, on that but you can 
click on the link and look, I suppose. I, I don't know at this point. But anyways, I think I should shut up now. Thank you, as ever, so, so much for watching. I'm going. Bye.